A closed traverse ABCD is described below in terms of coordinates, noting and easting of stations A, B, C, and D. What is the area of the polygon A, B, C, D? So we're giving the coordinates of this polygon, and we have to calculate the area, which means we're going to have to use the formula for area by coordinates. Let's go to FE Handbook, and I already had this typed in, but if you want to look for it, you can just type area by coordinates, and it's going to get you straight to this formula, which we are going to use in this problem today. Let's go back here and bring this formula closer to us. If I am to draw the coordinate system, this is north, south, and we've talked about this in my previous video, and north, south is equivalent to the y axis, and then west, east, is equivalent to x axis. And why I'm saying this, why I'm bringing this up, is for you to understand that Eastings is actually the X coordinate and Norting represents the Y coordinate. So when I have Norting of point A is 520, that means that Y A is equal to 520. And then Easting of point A is minus 350, which means XA is equal to that. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for all of these points because it's going to be easier for me to substitute in the formula. Now YC and then XC, YD and XD. We have four stations, and looking here in the formula, we have XA, XB, XC. So we're going to use XN as XD. So area is going to be equal to XA minus 350 multiplied by YB, 850 minus YN, which is YD minus, I'm going to do plus, minus with minus makes plus, so plus 700. Next, plus XB, which is 350, multiplied by YC, which is minus 450, minus YA, is 520 plus XC is 950 multiplied by YD. YD is minus 700 minus YB minus 850 moving forward plus xn which in our case is going to be xd minus 1150 multiplied by ya which is 520 minus yn minus 1 which will make d minus 1 so d minus 1 is actually point c so y C is minus with minus from the formula. It's going to be plus, plus 450. Multiplied by, all of it is divided by 2. I will just multiply all of this, put square parentheses, by 1 over 2 equals. Now we're going to just use our calculator and calculate each term. So I'm going to start with this guy. Okay. 850, 700 plus 350 multiply. So I get 
minus five, four, two thousand five hundred. Next, I have four hundred and fifty minus five hundred and twenty minus. We add them up. And we have three fifty multiplied. So next, I get minus three thirty nine thousand five hundred. All right, moving forward, we have 700 negative, 850 negative, add them up, 950 multiply. So the next term is minus one, four, seven, two, 500. Okay, and next, the last term, we're gonna have 520. 450 plus 1150 negative multiply. So we get also minus 1115500. And all of this multiplied by 1 over 2. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So 1 million 115 and 500 negative. 1 million 472 500 negative. We're going to add them up. Next, it's 339,500 negative. Add them up. And next, we have 542,500 negative add them up so the result i get three millions of course minus in front four hundred seventy thousand all right and all that multiplied by one over two and i will have the area equal to one million seven hundred thirty five thousand. There is a minus in front, but don't be confused by that because the area we know is an absolute value. So the result is going to be positive. One million seven hundred thirty five thousand. And these are square feet. Now, looking here at the answer, on this side, the options we have, we can notice the answers are given in acres. So we have to transform this in acres. Okay, now we can go to the FE handbook and I will just do a search on acre. Okay, and I am getting here, I'm looking for this page over here. I'm going to make it bigger. All right, and here we go. Multiply acres by 43,560 to obtain square feet. What we have to do, we have square feet and we have to, we would like to transform that in acres. So we're just going to go backwards. We're going to divide square feet by this number to obtain acres. So we have 43,560. So the area is going to be one million seven hundred thirty five thousand divided by forty three thousand five hundred and sixty and i hope this is the number forty three five sixty great and this equals to forty three five sixty divided and i am getting thirty nine point 83 acres. There you go. And this is the answer for this problem. 39.8, looking at the options here, is option A is the correct answer. Now, I would like to point out one thing here. I'll scroll down a little bit because here in our case, we have four stations and it was kind of easy to just apply this formula and consider xn as xd 
But in case you have five stations or six stations, you might be confused on how to actually apply this formula. I would just go ahead and draw, let's say your pentagon. It doesn't matter like the distances, you don't have to worry about that. Just make five stations. And I will do A, B, C, D, E. And now, if we were to look at this formula, we have XA multiplied by YB minus YN. So, and YN is the last term, right? So we have XA, we have XA multiplied by YB minus YE in this case. Because we this is the last term, right? We start here, A, B, C, D, E. So this is sort of a pattern that you apply to the next term. So you take the X of this point, and then you multiply by the Y of the forward point minus the Y of the backward point. I hope this makes sense. So let's see what would next term be. Next term is going to be XB multiplied by the forward Y, which is YC minus the back Y, YA. And we can go back here to the formula. Just check that this is what we did. YC minus YA. XB multiplied by YC minus YA. And then next, next term is going to be XC. So we're here. And we're going to multiply by forward y, yd, minus back y, yb. Okay, plus xd, and we're going to multiply by, we're here, by forward y, which is ye, minus backward y, yc, plus now we move to XE, and once we're here, we're going to multiply by forward Y, which is A, minus backwards, which is YD. I hope you can notice the pattern here, and it doesn't matter how many stations you have. If you are able to draw this a shape of yours, if you have a hexagon, it doesn't matter, and you're able to understand how the formula is actually applied, it's going to be easy for you to calculate the area of your polygon. So in this case, correct answer is 39.8 acres. The correct answer is A.